Hey guys, it's Jax the Legend here, and today I'm here with another Minecraft Redstone tutorial! And in this week's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to build an awesome fireplace door that completely seals up and lights itself. This is a super easy redstone build, so let's get into the tutorial. To start off this build tutorial, dig down two blocks and dig out a 5x6 area. Once you have done that, go to the bottom right corner of your square and place two blocks up, so the top block should be at ground level. Then come one block across, going inwards and place another block. Then one block diagonally and place one, diagonally down, and then another one next to that. So you should have a shape that looks a bit like this. Once you've done that, grab some redstone, a redstone repeater, and a redstone torch. Then come to the very end of this shape, and then place a redstone torch. Then, coming out of that redstone torch, place a repeater which should be powered on and should be going into this block here. Then go under that block that you place the redstone repeater into and place a piece of redstone dust. All of this should be powered on instantly. Next, come beside the redstone torch and place one sticky piston so the face is facing to where your fireplace is going to be. Then, come to the side and place two more. These should not be powered on, only the first one should be. Place a block on top of the redstone torch, then three more blocks on top of the pistons. Next, place redstone dust on top of these blocks and it should automatically power on these last two pistons. Diagonal from your first redstone torch, break one block down and place another redstone torch. This block is two blocks down behind the first piston. Now, next to this redstone torch, in front of it, under the first piston, place a piece of redstone dust. Place a block of your choice next to the redstone torch and then a sticky piston behind it. It should look like this. Behind the sticky piston, place one block and then a repeater on top of that block facing towards the piston. Then behind that repeater, place a regular piston facing up into the sky. Once you have done all that, place one piece of sand on top of the regular piston. Come to the side of the regular piston that has a sand block on top of it and create a staircase pattern that goes three blocks high. Once you have done this, place some redstone dust on the first two blocks. So the very top block should not have any redstone on it. Place a button on the very bottom block of your staircase pattern. This button is going to be used to close and open your fireplace gate from the inside. So when you press that button, the pistons should extend out. When you press it again, they should contract. And remember to place one at the very top. In the bottom right corner, next to where you made your first little shape, place one sticky piston facing into the sky. This is the location it should be at. And if it is not extended, press the button again and it should instantly extend with all the other pistons. After you've placed that sticky piston in the bottom right corner, grab out three dispensers and place them along the top of your extended sticky pistons. This is where your flint steel is going to be placed to light the fire after you close it. Remember, you're going to have to replace this flint steel every 64 times. Now we're done with the redstoning and it's time to place some blocks. The blocks you're going to need to complete this build are netherrack, flint and steel, some stairs, some slabs, and some regular blocks. Once you've gathered all those blocks, come to the sticky piston that's in the bottom right corner that is, has its face facing into the sky and place a slab on top of it, then two other slabs to the left of it. Then place some netherrack on the face of the pistons underneath the dispensers. And remember to add your flint and steel to inside your dispensers. And the last few blocks you're going to have to place is under the, this first piece of netherrack. You're going to place a stair or a slab so you have a staircase way to get down to your secret base. Then you can place that netherrack back where it was. Once you've done all that, you should be able to press this button 
and your fireplace door should open right up and you'll be able to walk down and press this button here. And it should instantly close back up and the fire should be lit. Let's have a look how I've put this fireplace door into a build so you can see how the underground area can be designed and how the fireplace can be made. When creating your fireplace around your fireplace door, you can use any design you like. But you have to remember, there are certain slabs that you have to keep there. I'll highlight them in purple now. The slabs that I've highlighted in purple blocks are very important. Remember, you can't replace these with any other full block like stairs or a regular block. You have to remember to keep them with a slab. I've also decorated the fireplace with stone buns to hide my secret trigger button. So any regular person will go, oh cool, some regular decoration buttons. But secretly, if I press this button right in the corner, my fireplace door will open and I'll be able to walk down right into my valuable section. And when I open my chest, I've got all my diamonds. And of course, if I walk up here and press the button, n nobody will know where I am because the fireplace will close up behind me and relight. If I press the button again, it will open and I'll be able to walk straight out and close it. So that's going to be the end of this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.